Hey guys, I'm Maximil Anderson, and this is part two in the Pedal Drum Lesson series, where we take the pedal and its inversions and apply it on the drum kit, making interesting grooves out of it. Uh, this lesson is heavily based on part one, so if you haven't already checked that out, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, let's get right into it. All right, so for this lesson, we're going to take the same four paradiddle grooves that we explored in lesson one, but instead of playing everything at one dynamic level, we're going to ghost all of the notes played with our left hand, except from the two and four, which we will accent in order to create the standard backbeat. This creates a much more versatile groove that you can use in lots of different situations. So let's start with the standard paradiddle. Uh, let's keep an eighth note, right ostinato in our right hand, and then split up the paradiddle between the left hand and the right foot, adding those ghost notes and the accents. So as you can hear, this sounds a bit more like your typical groove with the backbeat on 2 and 4. And the next step would be to explore the inversions of the paradiddle. So let's start with the first inversion, which is also called the inverted paradiddle. Uh, so let's play that with our ghost notes and our accents. Alright, so I personally find that one really tasty and cool and usable, but all of these inversions have different flavors and all of them can be used in different ways. So let's go ahead and look at the second inversion, which is called the reverse paradiddle. Let's play that one with our ghost notes and accents. Alright, so that leaves us with one last paradiddle to go, the third inversion, which is also called the delayed paradiddle. And as you guys can hear, these grooves can be really useful, uh, so play around a bit with them and I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Let's go ahead and play the third inversion with our ghost notes and our accents, and I'll see you guys soon.